to Mad Dolls, and I want to give a huge thank you to Create Your Dream Doll for sending me Tanya for free to share with you guys. So before we jump into it, make sure you subscribe and follow me on all my other social medias because I've got lots of fun stuff going on there. So when I first saw these dolls, I was like, what are these? I was very intrigued because I had never seen them before. And then I went to their website and I read all about them and I was like, okay, this is so cool. You literally can create your own dream doll and they will choose to make it or not. You can draw it out and write a story about them. And here is what the drawing looks like the empty base and here is the QR code for you if you would like to go create your own dream doll and see if they will make it. So here is Tanya. I chose her because she looks like me. At least I think so. <laughs> and she's got this gorgeous rainbow dress. It is so pretty. So these dolls come in a cardboard box. There is no plastic so you can just touch the doll which is a very eco-friendly and it says create your dream doll up here and this is a Tanya in the box. There's a little rainbow down here and now on the sides of the boxes we have all the other dolls that you can collect. We've got Tanya, Jeanette, Vicky, Mila. And on the other side, we have four other dolls. We have Summer, Eric, Clara, Marina, and Erin. And on the back are all the dolls. So it says, follow your fantasy. Powered by your imagination, the Create Your Dream Doll mission is to turn every aspiring artist's vision into a beautiful reality. We've hand-selected the most unique, adorable, and downright fabulous designs from our doll-loving community to create this special series. Do you want your doll dream to become a reality? Follow your fantasy and create your very own dream doll today. And here, of course, is the QR code. So you can check it out for your Self. Oh. So now this is a heavy doll and it seems as if she's like plastic that is almost glass. Like it's so, it's a very interesting plastic. So let's unbox her and discuss. But I just think this is so cool that you could literally just like send in your design and they'll be like, yeah, okay, let's, let's just make that a doll. Like that is so neat. I love that. So here she is in this little a cardboard part. Wow. So be careful, there's like a little poison-y pack in there. And there's like a card on the side of the box. So let's open the card first. Maybe it's like a little book. Oh, okay, it's a little book. It is her story. So I will read that in a second. Let's get all of this awesome like styrofoam off of her appendages first. <laughs> so she's looking her best. That's really cool. I, I really, really like that they're, you know, actually trying to protect her so she doesn't get ruined by the plastic. That's very nice. And she's also got some tissue paper on her shoes that we will cut off. I also want to point out she has on a hairnet. Like that is, that is so cute and it comes off. Of course, oh, to keep that gorgeous hair all protected. She looks so pretty. All right, I'm gonna sit her right next to me as we read her story. So this is the little book or pamphlet she comes with. It says, create your dream doll, Tanya. Story and design by Tanya from Germany. So there is their drawing. Let's open this up. Tanya's story. Tanya loves to dance, make friends, play, and cuddle her favorite unicorn plushie. When she goes to sleep with the help of her unicorn, she enters her own magical world filled with candy, rainbows, and fluffy clouds made out of cotton candy. So here is the inside with the story, and here is the back with the QR code. Again, it says everything the back of the box says. <laughs> so I'm not gonna make you listen to me read that again. <laughs> and so now let's take a look at her. It seems as if our gorgeous Tanya has, hmm, this is either poly or nylon. I can't quite tell. She's got some a gorgeous dark, dark red hair pulled into two little braids at the side of her head and she also got some gorgeous bangs um <laughs> she looks a lot like 
Moi. Um, she has got some blushing going on. She's got some brown eyebrows. Now they do have like glass inset eyes and hers are a gorgeous brown. She has like a coral-ish lip. Um, I don't think there's any eyeshadow, just a little bit more blushing around her eyes. Um, the head does go up and down and side to side, every which way direction. And now coming down, Tanya, we've got this a very gorgeous dress. The dress is what sold me and like why I chose her because like, it's gorgeous. So we've got this pink little top that has a star and like two little gold shimmers on it. And then the sleeves itself are white with, it looks like, a white feathers. That's right, in the drawing, she is like covered in feathers, love. And then of course, the dress itself is a, a rainbow pattern with a bunch of different rainbow feathers going down the dress. And now I would also like to point out that she has on very cute little white underwear on under her gorgeous dress. Um, it seems as if her arms only go forward and back at the shoulder, I was like, what is that called again? It's a shoulder. Um, and then um, her legs also only go front and back at the hip, so not much articulation. Uh, and then the shoes, I really like the shoes. I think the shoes might be my favorite part. We've got these a very glittery, gorgeous pink flats. Love it, girl. She is, you know, in this amazing unicorn dream world. So that is Tanya. Now, I do wish she had the accessories that the drawing has because in the drawing she has like a necklace and a unicorn horn and unicorn ears. I wish that we got those. That that would have been pretty nice. The little, little icing on at the top, you know. And her neck is very like plain. You know, I feel like she, she needs her necklace and she needs her little unicorn horn you know, but you could always go to like a craft store and make it yourself, I guess, you know? So yes, I want to give another huge thank you to Create Your Dream Doll for sending me Tanya. She, she's cute. I mean, literally, I mean, it's me. And it's such a cool message. I think that's why I like it so much that you could just, just go create your own doll. Like every one of you should literally just go throw in a doll design, throw in a story, see what happens. See if they just create the doll that you want to be made. Like that is so cool. I love it. So make sure you subscribe and follow me on all my other social medias because I've got lots of fun stuff going on there. And of course, at the end of my videos, I like to rank the doll on a scale of one to 10. And for me, I think Tanya is a 10 out of 10 because literally it's just so sweet that somebody designed this gal. No, here she is. I, I am definitely gonna throw in a designer too and hope that they get me because I that's like a dream come true, you know? <laughs> As a extreme doll collector, having a doll, uh, that'd be pretty neat. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.